What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't put out a video this week. If you haven't checked it out yet, check out the Revenant music video, the live footage music video that I put out a couple days ago. Go check that out, that link will be right down below. You just click it, it'll take you over there, check it out, and then you come right on back over here. This is an important update because I forgot a few things to announce this week. Some really important things for the business that I forgot to announce to you guys on social media. This week's been crazy. I've been out booking shoots with brides. I've been out shooting some engagement shoots, some couple photos. It's been awesome. Uh, the business has been doing really, really well. Um, and I'm really blessed to be able to work from home and to be able to support my family from here. The big news that I forgot is that CRJ Productions, as a business in a whole, has been in business for one year as of October 17th. I forgot to announce that on one of my last few vlogs coming back from tour, and that I hadn't really been in front of the camera much, so I didn't really get a chance to announce it. But I've been in business for a year. I started out doing graphics part-time uh, just to get some extra money, because if you guys didn't know, about a year ago, I started living in my truck. I was homeless for a little bit, and I just rebuilding myself from the ground up. Everybody has their lowest points, and then, you know, that's not an excuse or any... Try not trying to throw a pity party for it, but it's just part of my life and where I came from. So when I was um, in my down times, I tried to make some money doing... We are slowly falling with the tripod. Chill, thank you. Okay, so everybody has their down times. What matters is what you do to come back from that. Um, so my thing was, is because I absolutely love doing graphic design for all my sponsors with Blackstone Labs and Spice Beast. I'd make my own advertisements and everybody else would ask me to make them. So I started out doing something like that. Designing custom graphics for everybody's social media, for their own personal brands, for their own sponsors, different things like that. I didn't offer photography and videography until end of March, beginning of April this year. Um, because I was in a toxic relationship for two years. Um, she didn't want me to shoot or book my own stuff because it took her business. Oh, this, this tripod. Ah, tripod's giving me issues today. Shouldn't be sliding. Oh, dang. All right, whatever. But anyways, in my toxic relationship, back to that. I don't really want to go back to that, but this is what it is. Uh, she would be upset because I was going to shoot weddings, couple shoots, engagement shoots, offer video, photo, I was taking her business. Well, that ended. You can see how that ended. I'm not with her anymore. Um, but so I decided to offer them in March and April to expand my business just to do any kind of photo, video content. I offer everything from maternity to bands to weddings to couples to senior pictures to workout videos I do promotional videos for brands and, and businesses and product photos and anything like that anything you can think of that has to do with photography or videography I do it not drone stuff yet that is coming soon hopefully I'll get a drone in 2020 that's the goal but with that being said the business has grown substantially this is really just a thank you video to everybody who supported me one more time sorry might have to do this again it's just falling stay might keep my hand there I don't know I don't know if you can see it slowly move okay anyways but since the beginning of this year in February is when when I started doing CRJ Productions full time. I had lost some hours at work. I was already living out of my truck and I read a quote from Gary Vaynerchuk that said, don't jump until you can afford to drown. Well, I took that as in, I'm already drowning. I already have nothing. So let's take the leap and do this full time. And it is the best decision I ever made. Was it scary? Absolutely. Did I have doubts? Absolutely. To this day, do I th still have doubts? Absolutely. But I do everything I can to keep moving forward, to grow the business, to keep just moving forward and making options and making moves. I've talked about a lot of videos about making sacrifice and doing what you love doing and spending time doing it and that is the goal and key to get rid of those self-doubts and those fears and all those things like that because the passion comes from your heart and if you're passionate about something and you keep putting time towards your passion you're going to be happy and happiness totally goes over fear any day but with that being said i just want to thank all of you guys everybody that watches these videos uh even if you're not watching these videos and you happen to stumble across it if you have been on my instagram on my twitter booking shoots referring me liking sharing posts commenting subscribing doing whatever all the stuff I have done with this business. I appreciate every single one of you more than you guys know. Without you guys, I would not be where I'm at today. Words cannot express really how thankful I am for the people that have been in my life supporting me, having my back and really pushing me and encouraging me to keep on with it and to do different things and try different routes and do really be the best version of myself I can be for my business. So with that being said, guys, 2020 is going to be a big year. I'm going to be getting some new things. Hopefully coming soon, I'm going to be getting um, a new desktop. I, that's what I really need right now. Something that handles processing speed better um, so I can get into After Effects, so I can get into editing videos faster, and so I can get into just my computer, my laptop's slow, plain and simple. I just need something that's faster. And then next thing I plan on getting next year, hopefully a drone, so I can fly and get more drone footage, some cooler B-roll, things like that. I can learn from my buddy Ian on how to fly. That dude is a pro at it. Shout out to Ian. And then definitely at the beginning of the year, I'm hoping to get a gimbal. If you don't know what a gimbal is, it is a uh, device for cameras, phones. I have one for my phone. I need one for my 
my camera that makes super still shots. I have a pretty steady hand as it is, but a gimbal is totally gonna like up my game with the weddings and with cinematic B-roll and different films and stuff like that. Like I said, 2020 is gonna be a big year. Right now I got weddings that are being booked. I'm um, pretty much booked up through October. Um, I have some days booked out in September already. So hopefully I just keep booking weddings and I keep um, growing, expanding my business. I absolutely love what I do and I'm passionate about it. And I do it because I love it and I do it because I'm passionate about it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't dealt with depression in quite some time. With uh, the sadness, feeling alone, empty. I used to deal with that a lot, you know, last year when I had lost everything. And it was really hard for me. It was hard to feel, you know, alone, like I was a failure in life because I absolutely did lose everything. My home, I was falling behind on my bills. I only had my truck to live in and I didn't really have anywhere to put my things. And it was hard and I felt alone and depressed. And I, have, I didn't have suicidal thoughts or anything like that, but at the end of the day, I felt alone and I felt depressed and like a failure and like I wasn't really worth anything to anybody. Now, like, man, I'm just so blessed to have this business and have made the friends that I have to have been able to travel twice this year. Um, I got to travel with Life right now and uh, back in July and August and I got to travel with Revenant in October. You know, I met a wonderful girl, Yana Lee, and then uh, her, her kids, Zane and Emma, I absolutely love them all so much. You know, I get along with her family very well and it's just been, an absolute 180 degree turnaround for my life. And that's not anything for me that I'm, I'm bragging about. It's not anything that, you know, I'm gloating that I might be better or better off. The point is, is when you lose everything and when you feel like you have nothing and when you feel like you're totally alone, if you pinpoint the little bit of hope, that passion, that, that love, that joy, whatever drives you, and you pinpoint that and you focus on it, you have tunnel vision on the things that drive you, and you just focus on it and go at it 120% and you go at it head on, your life is going to turn around in ways that you couldn't imagine. You're gonna have opportunities and you're gonna be blessed with things that you never thought were possible. Just remember that when you do see turnaround and you see change and the good changes in your life, you remember to give back, that you remember to give to others and not just keep taking. The, the point of this story and the point of me telling you all of this is it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what circumstances you come from. It doesn't matter what challenges you face. It doesn't matter what you've been given. It doesn't matter what's been taken from you. What matters is your mindset. I talk about that in a lot of my videos and you guys know that. I have a whole series dedicated to the mindset. Your heart gives off joy and love you feel love, you feel happy, you feel all those good things come from your heart. Now, when you are fearful, stressed, anxious, depressed, doubtful, that all comes from your mind. It's a lack of this thing called dopamine in your mind and your mind starts to actually kind of freak out a little bit which causes the anxiety and the fear and the self-doubt. All of the negative thoughts that bear down in your mind, that's where they come from. You don't have negative feelings that come from the heart. You don't have negative actions that are caused from the heart. So when you create that positive mindset for yourself, and when you create that self-awareness, that hope, that ambition, that drive, everything that's good in your mind to build up those defenses against everything negative. When you start to become self-aware and you become fearless and you become hopeful and then you start to have a lack of regrets and you start to learn about yourself, your life is going to change in ways that you can never imagine. And I guarantee you, as long as it's something that's morally correct, your life is going to change for the better. And so guys, I just wanted to update you with everything that's going on in my life. I wanted to thank you all for being so supportive of me and my career and my life and my passions. And so thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you've already made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does help me out, especially if you hit that like button and even drop a comment down below. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So just remember, no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow is a brand new day. The choice is yours to go out and be more. Peace out. See, you know what? That tripod stayed up the entire time after I said, oh, it might happen again. But I just don't understand why.